everyone, welcome to Free Engineering Review Center, a channel for learning. So today I'm going to discuss several topics in differential equations. Within this part, I'm going to discuss population growth, decomposition, bacteria growth, and chemical transformation. So let's get started. And, uh, so first topic natin sa differential equation is about uh, population growth. So, the population growth, if we talk about that in differential equation, is that uh, population growth. So, bali dito po, uh, yung ratio or yung rate ng population is directly proportional to its population. Right? No? So, If the rate of population increases, then the population, the number of population also increases. So that's how population growth is divided. The rate of population is directly proportional. to the number of population. So, that is how population growth is defined. So, we have also a solution equation that is being used for a population growth. It's defined as uh, the population at any time n is equal to the original population times its exponential growth raised to power of a constant k times its time. So, any time. So, this is how we use this formula. So, in our problem here, so, yung problem, sabi dito, the population of the Philippines doubled in the last 30 years from 1956 to 1986. So, assuming that the rate of population increases, will remain the same in what year will the population be tripled? So, So, if you use the formula for the rate of population is directly proportional to its population, if we change that with respect to constant k, so dp over dt is equal to constant k times the p. So, using the separable differential equation, so we will uh, group same variables, this will be k times the dt. Right? Then, we do this integration and we need to integrate. So, integration of dp with respect to p is lnp and integration of k dt, k is constant so we just uh, ilalabas lang natin yan. Then, integration of t, cancel lang yung uh, so, cancel lang, cancel lang. Yeah. So, this will become then plus constancy. 
that's right. So if we continue, we will have this one. So we get now L and P equal K times P plus C. So at time 0, P will be PO or the original population. So if we substitute that variable, so this becomes K times 0 plus C. Therefore, C is LN of the original population. So now, at time equal 30, P is, diba? it states as it doubled. So if we go back here in the problem, the population of the Philippines doubled in the last 30 years. So it doubled in the 30 years. So we will have now L and P equal K T plus volume C. So we get the volume C here. So we just need to substitute that one. And for P, we just need to substitute this value C. So we have LN of 2PO is equal of uh, K of times 30 plus LN of PO. So therefore, we got uh, LN of 2PO minus ln of po equal 30 of constant k so by properties of logarithms we will have 2 po all over this po and this is equal to k times 30 so cancel out cancel out we'll get we we'll got uh, ln 2 equal 30 of k so k is ln2 of 30. So, we get this y equals here and this one. So, if we continue. So, at time blank, so what will be the time so that the population will be tripod? So, magtatatlong uh, times siya sa original. So, going back to LNP, K times T plus C. So, substitute natin yan. LN of 3PO is equal to K nung time T plus LN of PO. So, we get LN of 3PO minus LN of PO. And that is equal to L K is LN2 out of 30. So thus, we get this 3PO over PO, and this one LN2 out of 30. This, this is LN3, LN of 2 over 30 times T. So therefore, T is 30 of LN3 divided by LN2, or that is equal to 47.55. That's it. So now, if we convert that into year, so we have now the time in years, and that is from 1956. Yeah. So for 1956 plus. 47.55 and that is approximately 2,000 so that's the answer is 2,004 that's right